way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your pets. Right to the nearest store for a taste of sweet, 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 clean speed. Because life is too short if I miss this time. Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Our sock and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty. Except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corps leave it to the gang. Suits collars and gets sore. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from our soccer, she could have done better. That's him for Dell. know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? How could you possibly know what I'm looking for? Clouds always knows. Your deepest desire? We find it. You'll have your needs fulfilled. And maybe much more. Less is not a word we use around here. So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting? Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. Jack Looking in, for please. Evelyn Parker. Does she work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Jack in, please. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their guards close, fine. We'll play our own game. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. And saved. Now, bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Two matches. Interesting. Is that normal, or...? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with... unique tastes. Our system can handle it. 
So who will it be? Angel or Sky? Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Won't Johnny. Won't find any use for weapons inside. Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay. Guess that makes you a real deviant. Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay then. V. Welp, looks like this'll be interesting. So, V. You're dying. Silent. Why? Samurai. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. If you're done here, you should go. I need this info. Name your price. Fuck you. Your Eddies and that girl of yours. I could get fired for doing something like this. I'll make it worth your while. All right, fine. Hand it over and get out before you land me in the ship. First, tell me what you know about Evelyn. Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. The customer attacked her. I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Gonna just stand there or tell me a number. Eleven. This booth occupied now? Nah. I think it's been out of order since... Um... Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah? And do what? 
None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where'll I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. to a wound rather than a kill. See that? See what? Nothing there. Exactly. There should be a port right there for the doll to jack into. They rip it out? Wonder why. off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. What do you think? Cyberpsychosis? Missing port is still gnawing in my mind, though. Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. A netrunner? Weird. Unauthorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am. No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you. Here, now. You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This donk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. Oh, no shortage of voice assets. Anyone else? You're going back upstairs? In a minute. I need to piss first. <sighs>
got some new hardware. <laughs> what a psycho! That what we do have? A washing machine has a motor. Really yeah. Really? That's the whole point. They're not they? supposed to remember. More not like a smidge. Hard life. So why every time do they restart the conversation where we left off? That's not remembering. It's saved to the dull chips that store their personas. Hold on. Reel back a sec. You talk to them like talk talk? You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me. Hi. Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. You sure your VIP card checks out? Relax. You don't need any data, don't need any deets. I'm not a customer. I'm here to talk. To you specifically. Not to be with a doll. Tom, is that it? Uh-huh. I need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. I've tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. That accident involved a client, did it? Found blood in her booth. Ah. Uh, you know, shit like that happens here sometimes. And everyone's cool with that. We get new implants, recovery leave, and, well, sometimes even a payout. Now that I think about it, it is weird she went away so far. Which was it? Osaka or Oslo? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Where can I find this Woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Oh, I see. Of Except it's I'm off limits to customers. <laughs> yeah, I have Woodman. That bike. Who is I he? Know it is. Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest, then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing.
No clients allowed in here. Be a chum and close the door on your way out, would you? Or as you can see, I'm very busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over at Booth too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. You look to me like a reasonable man. I think we can work something out. And you look to me like a psycho prick who's never been ghosted by his bow or bill before. But go on. I'm listening. You've got info, I've got eddies. It's a fair trade. What's your price? You need to pull your head out of your ass. Eddies will buy you a horse here, not snitches. I look like either of those to you. I told you what you look like. Don't tell me you weren't listening. Surely a reasonable man like yourself wouldn't mistake a donation for a bribe. Real pleasure chatting. But just where exactly do you see this going? We can settle this without anyone getting hurt. Why make this any harder than it needs to be? You should ask yourself that. Listen carefully. One way or another, I'm gonna find her. And when I do, all kinds of shit is gonna happen. Shit you don't want to end up on the wrong side of. Assume you believe your side to be the right one. Take a wild guess. All right, fine. I'll lay it on you straight. Girl you're looking for, Parker? She ain't here. Tell me something I don't know. Like, where is she? Think you know how things work around here. But you don't know shit. Dolls aren't here to give you pleasure and satisfaction out of the goodness of their soul. They're workers. Their job's to generate profit. Evelyn stopped pulling profit. No denying that, sadly for her. I saw what she did to the client. Did she get spiked or something? Whatever or whoever fried her circuits, it came from outside our subnet. They played their deck like a virtuoso. Their chip was fucking rot. Believe you me, we tried to fix it. Didn't even come close. They common? These kind of accidents? Ever use tech that never broke? 
didn't think so. Behavioural chip splits you right down the middle. Some people plan lose their minds. And for everyone that does, there's a dozen in line to replace them. Is this you talking it out straight? What happened to Evelyn? Got an order from up high to recycle her. You killed her? No. I found a ripper doc who was willing to take a look. Yeah, said he knew something or other. You took her to the Ripper instead of following orders. Didn't take you for someone with balls. For fuck's sake, I'm not running a slaughterhouse here. I only recycle as a last resort. And family always gets a call, if there is any. Think there are any daddies out there willing to change the diapers of a brain-dead little slut on the verge of cyberpsychosis? Probably not. Casting him out on the street ain't an option either. Can't risk tanking our cred. Well, anything's better than a bullet to the brain. <laughs> you know, that's what every doll says. I'm starting to like you. You looking for work by any chance? You invested your own eddies to help poor, unprofitable Evelyn. Please. <laughs> you got me. Ripper's the one who paid me. For a broken doll. People got all kinds of kinks. Trust me, I know, considering where I work. Fingers is a real specimen, though. Got all the fetishes, even the ones you've never heard of. I'm sure he found her a nice niche. <laughs> the Ripper, name and address. Don't know a last name. Don't fuck with me. I'm not. Goes by fingers. Clinic's in some godforsaken alley up on Jig Jig Street. Wanna find Evelyn? Look there. Don't come back here. Ever. While you're at it, take the elevator. Quicker you're out of here, the better. Dark fingers on Jig Jig Street. Sounds like a co-ed's wet dream. Pleasant day to you. The next time you have that urge for clouds, don't wait. <laughs> 